Bye bye and bushy tailed. Me. So anyways, I just woke up a few minutes ago. Um, it is Friday morning, 8.30. I have been so... Well, I woke up like 20 minutes ago. So busy this week. And I wanted to do a book review for you. And then I'm going to update the video. Upload a video after that. On an update on the giveaway. And my thoughts on it. So, um, I read The Artifice of Beauty. I'm not going to review it on this channel. It talks about the history of cosmetics, perfume, and makeup. In history, I wasn't completely impressed with the book. I did finish it. And it was interesting in parts, but wasn't all I thought it was going to be. So, I need to still buy that. Um, I saw it in Emily Noel's channel. I'm trying to grab my little book that I keep all the stuff I want. Classic Beauty, The History of Makeup. Um, that's the book that I need to get. It's expensive, so. I'm going to be reviewing The Golden Lily by Michelle Mead. Let me start by saying that this book <sighs> took me forever to read. And not just because I didn't have time, because I always have time to read before bed. That's one time, even if I'm busy in my life, that I have time to read. This book, I don't know what it is about Michelle Mead books, and I hope that she's not going to be watching this because I've had authors watch my videos and then I end up feeling bad. Um, the same thing happened to me during the Va Vampire Academy series is that towards the end, I stopped reading um, because I felt like nothing was happening and it just felt like the world, I guess the reality is that the world that she created with these characters wasn't enough for me that just living in their daily life wasn't interesting to me. This book had ups and downs. <sighs> Most of it was just spent on a romance that was a waste of time to me. And the focus is supposed to be on Jill. And she is a royal vampire. And she needs to stay alive. So that the queen, Lisa, the girl that's from the Vampire Academy can still reign because you have to have one um surviving living blood family member so that's what the whole focus of this whole series is and i don't know the ending it started getting interesting but i felt like why did you wait this long why did you wait to the last quarter or fifth of the book to get into this kind of stuff there was sections and ideas and things that I feel like should have been expanded on and wasn't and it would it would come and I would be like oh okay now the book's gonna get really good and then really didn't talk about it until way later and then I don't feel like this book was edited that well first of all I'm a writer and an editor and I can say that because one I've read a lot of books and two I edit for a living this book there's so many sections that I felt like that should have been expanded on this should have been cut out and expand on this this should have been moved here this if you're not really that invested in writing as I am because it's my livelihood I still think you would notice it because there's sections where you're like oh this is interesting I didn't know she was going to take it here and I'm trying to review this objectively and without spoiling as you can see I'm doing this very vague um but then it wasn't she didn't go there. So why did you introduce it in the first place? Um, I don't know if it's Rochelle, but in the end, whether it's her book or not, it's the editor because they have the last control in the publishing company. As much as we want to say, oh, Rochelle means it, it's probably not entirely her problems. And where they cut the books off and where they, they might have told her, we want we don't want it to end like that, bring it back or expand it a little or whatever, which I'm thinking bring it back is more what happened. So I almost didn't finish this book. And I really, this is going to be sad, I really don't care to read The Indigo Spell. Um, I always fall off of Rochelle Mead's books. Um... I just, I did with the Vampire Academy, and I'm doing it again with the Golden Lily. Books don't take me long to read, first of all. This took me, what, oh, five, six days or more 
for to read 400 pages that's not me and some of the days i like on the weekend on sunday i had most of the day just to read i read like 60 pages 50 pages most of what i read of this was on monday when i was sitting and getting my oil changed and i read like 130 or 40 pages and it was like okay and i just felt like josh you need to finish this book because you need to get to other books and that's my whole thinking of trying to finish this book so honestly on a scale of one to five two and a half I don't think I'd even give it a three. That's how disappointed. I really am disappointed in this. Um, those of you that loved it, I'm sorry. Um, after reading so much YA fiction and paranormal and whatever else you want to call this fantasy, I have high expectations. And a book should be well written. And if it's not... I'm going to say it because that's this is my channel and I know a lot and I don't know if that sounds like I'm a book snob but I know a lot of people that do watch these videos want honest opinions and they only have there's a lot of people that subscribe to me that don't have a lot of money and they want to know what book should I spend my money on you know because I can't get them all which one should I get now this one's not it so I haven't had a really, like, disappointing review like that in a while, so I hope you guys appreciate my honesty. So this is The Golden Lily by Rochelle Mead. I'm not going to say don't buy it, but don't expect much. And happy reading.